I haven't painted in two years. There's all these excuses I could give, life got in the way, which it kind of did, and I just didn't have the motivation. I know a lot of you guys struggle with the same thing that I do. It's hard to stay continuously doing something, even when you love it. At least, it's really hard for me. Uh, it's why I started this YouTube channel. It was so that I can have the motivation to keep painting regularly and hopefully motivate some of you guys too. I... I stopped for two whole years. I don't think that means that that's it and you can't keep starting and keep trying. It's just because you had one little stumble, you can just get yourself right back up and keep painting. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm not gonna do anything too crazy. I just wanna warm up the fingers and warm up the brush. I'm starting with the sister battle. Of course, in the two years that I haven't been painting, my backlog of minis has gotten bigger because of course it has. Just because I don't paint doesn't mean I don't have a spending problem. And <laughs> I had bought the box set for the Sisters of Battle, the Adeptus Sororitas. For me, to, vote, to motivate myself, I can't just paint a ton of the little, the little guys, the normal army units, because they just drive me nuts. I really enjoy painting something bigger with a lot more different color variation and just something a little bit more unique. But I don't want to go all out and paint Bellacor, which of course, I got as well. I have the Penitent Engine, and we're gonna start there. I have the paint guide right here. I'm just gonna try my best again. It's been a while since I've done any of the special techniques that I learned two years ago. Uh, so we're just going to go with the flow, try to remember how to do things again, and no matter how it turns out, be proud of the fact that I actually finished it and that I'm starting to paint and that we're doing this again together. So let's get started. So a couple things off the bat that I I'm already starting to have a problem with. I started with a zenithal lighting coat on all of my sisters of battle, uh, thinking that would give them some dimension. But then I realized that the penitent engine is going to be like all black, since it's metal, you know? Um, so the parts that are white, when I dry brush on like the dark metallic, I'm using the gun metal by the army painter set. It's coming out really weird on the parts that are white and looking really nice on the parts that are black. So I might have to paint over the parts that are white that I did the Zenithal lighting, which is kind of annoying because I had made sure, or I tried to make sure that I had everything primed and set up and ready to go so that I can just paint uh, and it's not really working out that way. So we're just going to keep going. Oh, also the hot tip that I remember from Artist Opus, great YouTube channel, check them out, um, was that when you dry brush, not to spread the paint on a paper towel before you start it because then it dries it out and then you get the, the textures of the paper on your paintbrush and then it gets on there and, and it's a whole mess. And I was always wondering why my stuff came out chalky before because I was doing that so I'm trying to just spread it out on the wet palette because I don't have his cool fancy textured mat um, and we'll see how it turns out so let's keep going
So I finished dry brushing and I added, I don't have null, null, null oil. I can't say it right. So I just used the dark tone and I put that all over the mini after dry brushing. It's looking okay. I decided I'm not gonna paint the parts that I use in with a lighted black because I just need, I need to do it. You know, next mini, I'll make sure I'm more careful. This mini is just to get a mini done. So now I'm looking at the guide and it says that they have, and they have highlights in Stormhost Silver. The closest I have to that is the Runefang Steel. It's not the same, but it's a light silver and I figure that is fine. The only thing is, is that dry brushing it on, it's not coming out quite right. Like I can't even see it. And when I try to edge highlight, you also can't see it with a little bit more paint on the brush. I'm gonna try now moving on to something else and then coming back to highlight it later because we need to keep going and keep staying motivated to paint. So now I'm gonna start doing the dude that's being tortured in there. All right, let's keep going. Day one is done since I only have a few hours to paint per day. I did some of the bronze parts and it's hard to tell with this light, I need to fix that. And I did some of the flames on top. The flames were definitely the most fun. I just, I know I did this in one of my last videos, but I keep not waiting for the paint to dry enough before I start painting again. And then it starts to strip off and then you can see the black underneath and I just need to be more patient. There's definitely been more downs than ups when trying to paint this, but it's been two years, like I keep saying. So I just need to push through and try my best and try to remember some of those things from before and keep going. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Hi, I'm back. Day two to keep painting the pendant engine. I'm gonna be focusing back again on the flames, his pants, and then all the little details around the side of the engine. So let's go.
So I'm almost done. I just need to do the wiring on his head. But I wanted to say that I'm super proud of the way that the heat barrels came out. I really wanted to tell you guys because I sort of winged it and just mixed together a whole bunch of metallics and the different colors that it showed in the picture and it looks really, really good. I'm glad that there was a win in all of this after it feels like there's so many losses just because I'm so rusty. So this is great. I'm super excited to finish up and then take some nice photos at the end. So almost done. Let's keep going. He is complete. I'm so happy that I finally finished the mini after all these years. It feels like a huge accomplishment. I feel like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders and I hope if you joined me and you painted along with me that you feel a sense of accomplishment and get the dopamine high running and that you feel good about yourself because you should. Something I wanna try is to point out one part of the mini that I really like and one part that I know can be improved upon with just a little bit more practice. My favorite part are the barrels that shoot out the flames or guns. I think that it made it look like really hot metal, what I did, and it looks really, really nice and just like the picture. So I'm very proud of that. Something I think that can be improved that is really important for all minis is the skin. I have such a hard time getting the colors right on skin, where the reds go, where the paler colors go, and sort of really blending that out so it looks realistic. Right now it feels sort of mishmash, even though the toes look pretty cute. That's it, he's gonna go up there with the rest of my painted minis, which isn't a lot right now but will be really soon. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. If you liked this, you know, like, subscribe, do all that stuff, but either way, keep painting, and I hope to see you next time. Thanks.